In today's new video from Aquaverdi, we'll cover use of the Aquaverdi Tank Planner's Foliage Kit 4-Pack. The Tank Planner is a handy aquarium accessory for use with underwater aquarium plants. It's essentially like a flower pot, but it's covered top and bottom so that the plant and substrate cannot spill out, so that the plant cannot be uprooted. It's useful for various, Tank Planner is useful for various situations where you may not want to plant directly into substrate in the bottom of the aquarium, such as with cichlids or other fish that might want to, to pull on and uproot plants. Goldfish setups are very often bare bottom tanks, as are shrimp breeding tanks or discus aquariums. And lastly, we really like to use tank planters with planted vases. It's a nice, neat, tidy way to keep plants in a, in a low tech planted vase. The foliage kit is packaged in a stand up foil pouch. In this shot, you can also see the plants we'll be planting in the tank planters, scissors, and a couple of other tools that we'll be using. Inside the foil pouch, four of the medium tank planters. This size is good for use with plants 4 to 12 inches tall, medium size aquarium plants. Four of the tank planters with the top screen die cut plastic mesh. Detailed instruction sheet. Be sure to review all the instruction sheet before planting. It includes some useful tips. And lastly, the, uh, the four portion pouch of aquarium soil for use to fill the fill around the roots in the tank planters. Various bulb or rosette aquarium plants grow well in the tank planters, but we've seen the best results with crypt, cryptocorn plants. And this little Pyrex dish we have several crypt plants of a few different varieties, species, almost ready for planting. After cleaning the roots of other substrate, the, the most important first step is to trim back long roots. It's important to trim back roots to about an inch in length so that the base of the plant will fit inside the tank planter. Try to just cut the roots, try to avoid cutting the, the rhizome stem. We have another plant here, we'll just trim the roots back to about an inch long, again leaving the rhizome intact. Third plant trimmed, ready to go. And we have an array of various, various easy low-tech crypt plants. These include crypt wintii varieties and a few others. For easier planting, we'll pour the substrate portions into the Pyrex dish, into the dried Pyrex dish. We need to cut a hole in the planter top screen to allow for passage of the plant crown so that the, the plant can fit inside the planter. We'll first check uh, with the plant for the, the approximate correct size hole to make. Then using the snap blade cutter, uh, in this case we're going to cut through three by three mesh strands to make a, a square hole big enough for the plant and with a little extra space for the plant to grow some more inside of the tank planter. Recheck it for size again. Put the top screen back into the planter, and then we're ready to uh, insert the plant, pass the plant crown through the, through the hole in the top screen. The plant should be situated so that the, the crown, the area where the, the roots and the leaves originate, is slightly below the, the, the top of the planter. And that way the plant will be well seated and firm inside of the tank planter. Use a spoon to fill the tank planter with the soil substrate around the plant roots. You can also give the sides of the tank planter a tap with a spoon uh, so that the, the substrate will settle in around the roots. Be careful not to overfill because you won't be able to, to put the bottom tank planter bottom covering in place. If desired, you can also use an aquarium plant pellet fertilizer. We put just three of them in there. There's only about a quarter cup of volume inside the tank planter, so we, we use just a little bit of fertilizer. You can use a few of those fertilizer pellets or perhaps half of a fer uh, aquarium plant fertilizer tab. We'll put the plant right into a dish of water to rehydrate the roots and, and make sure that the, the foliage is also kept moist. Here's a second crypt plant. This might be crypt pechii, I think. Almost ready to go. Dunk that one in water too to rehydrate the roots, moisten the leaves again before situating the aquarium. We put up five of these attractive little low-tech crypt plants in the tank planters. 
We'll get these right into the aquarium soon so that the foliage won't dry out and so that the plants can start to adapt and grow inside of the aquarium environment. If we keep them happy, they'll, they'll grow and fill out with, with quite a few new leaves to make attractive foliage inside of the aquarium. Please visit our site, aquabury.com, for more updates on tank planters and our other aquarium plant care and livestock care accessories.